Hello, everybody. It's Tina Brock, the Producing Artistic Director here at the Idiopathic Ridiculopathy Consortium in Philadelphia. And I'm also your host for Into the Absurd, which is our weekly virtually existential dinner conversation where Saturdays at 5 p.m. for just about 50 to 60 minutes, we sit and we have a conversation with creators, artists in the community doing really interesting things during very existentially challenging times. And we find out what is driving their creativity, what they're thinking about when they come back into the studio or onto the page or onto the stage, the work that they've done during this time, what has motivated them, the obstacles, the challenges. And this is our way of giving a nod to that existential challenge we're all facing, which normally would be on the stage for the Idiopathic Ridiculopathy Consortium during these times. These are the stories that we tell from the um, artists of the very loosely defined theater of the absurd and the existentialists. And these are the works that we have most interest in. And during this time, it seemed like the very actors who were out on the stage creating their own works of art during extraordinary times were the stories that we wanted to tell virtually. And so we're going to be here even after we get back out onto the stage every Saturday at 5 p.m. How you can become involved um, and in the audience with that is if you head on over to Idiopathic Ridiculopathy Consortium, our website, you'll find a sign up for an email. And every Wednesday, we will send out an email with links and photos and all kinds of information that you can use to do some research on the guest if you like. And you can head on into the Zoom dining room Saturdays at 5 p.m. If you like also, and it's easier, Facebook Live, 5 p.m. Saturdays, Idiopathic Ridiculopathy Consortium. That's where you can find us. And also over on our YouTube channel where we've cataloged all these episodes. And we've got a podcast now, Amazon Music, iTunes, I, uh, iHeart, and Spotify. And it's Into the Absurd with Tina Brock. And you'll find about 35 episodes there. So it's been an extraordinary journey. Your questions, your support, and just being there for us is a really important part of creating that conversation. And these are the conversations we've wanted to have for so many years. And when you're just out there making the work every week as a small theater company, it becomes very challenging to try to find that place in the schedule to peg people down, to be able to have them for 50 minutes. And this has provided opportunities for us to go around the world, literally, and talk to creators and artists that we've wanted to have coffee and drinks with for a long time. So virtually we're here and we're doing it. And we thanks big thanks to you for making that all possible. On Saturday, March the 6th at 5 p.m., Emily Bruton Schilling will be joining us um, into, the, into the absurd dinner table. Emily is an artist, a writer, and the daughter of Philadelphia avant-garde artist and pataphysician James E. Bruton. Emily will be here to talk about her journey to uncover all of the, the puzzle and all of the works after her father's untimely death at age 37. Starting out with just about 16 of his works, Emily has since uncovered several hundred, and we'll talk to her about that journey, about the first solo exhibition of James E. Bruton's work in 43 years at Slout Philadelphia in 2014, and just what it's been like to go on that journey to put those pieces together and to make this part of her life more whole. It's a journey I'm very interested in finding about, uh, finding out about a daughter's search for her father's work, art, life, and how that all comes together for Emily Bruton Schilling. So that's Saturday, March the 6th at 5 p.m. here on Into the Absurd. And until then, just wishing you a very safe week ahead. I hope you're able to get that vaccine, keep your mask on, take care of each other, keep creating, and once again, just thank you so much for being here to help the IRC as we think about this return to the stage. Plans are in the works and we'll let you know what's happening as more information becomes available. But until that time, we do hope that you'll join us here at the virtual dinner table and learn a little bit more about the creators and the artists and their passions in our community and around the world. Until then, be safe, be well, and see you next week.